Hi, YouTube. Hey, YouTube friends and family, it's your boy GB Reviews. Today I'm doing another video for you. Um, what I'm trying to do is I'm, I'm trying to mix it up a little bit. Um, the one thing that all my friends know about me is that there's a few things that I love, but one of the things I love more than anything else is hot sauces. So I'm trying out this hot sauce subscription and I'm going to give you, um, I'll give you guys, uh, my, my views on it after a couple of months, but it's, uh, from Heatnest. It's the Heatnest website. These are the guys that do, that do the hot ones, uh, show that you always see every month in the box. They'll send you a box of hot sauce and you'll get um, three of their choice picked hot sauces in the box um, this month I've gotten uh, two sauces that I don't think are gonna be hot at all and then one sauce that's supposedly really hot um, I'm gonna review that sauce for you today um, I got some spicy chicken from Bonchon um, just to kind of spice it up so it may actually taste hotter than it really is because that chicken is already spicy chicken. But I'm gonna try today. So I'm not gonna review the other ones. I'll review these other ones at some other time. So I'm gonna put that over here. All right, so this uh, hot sauce, which I got is um, called uh, Karma Sauce, Burn After Eating. On the Scoville scale, this one is 669,000 supposedly. Um, like I said, I have Bonchon chicken. I'm going to eat this with Bonchon chicken. What I will say is that they have really good marketing on here. Um, it says this sauce requires top level heat tolerance. Consider yourself warned. You will regret this experience, but you only have, oh, um, but you have no one but yourself to blame, right? And then it says handcrafted in the small batches at a lab. So secret that you would never know, suspect a thing except if you saw the flames. So anyway. When I look at the ingredients, so I like it, it's no calories, but when you look at the ingredients, it says brutally hot peppers, white vinegar, garlic, salt, um, hen powder, rice flour, gum, Arabic, gum, ginger extract, salt, and uh, ajwan seed, I don't know what that is. And then it talks about the blend of peppers, but they said they can't really tell you, but they said that, that this is a blend of ghost peppers, scor um, uh, scorpion peppers, reapers, and uh, some brown peppers. So we'll see if it's hot. Uh, I'm not sure it's gonna be that hot, but again, my my heat tolerance is a little higher, um, but the thing is I'm not sure if it's gonna taste good. And that's the thing is it's hard to find a hot sauce that's super, super hot that actually tastes good because a lot of times they'll just throw a whole bunch of crap into a bottle just to make it hot, but we'll find out. So we're gonna do that. I'm gonna pull out some chicken. We're gonna try it on the chicken. And remember my chicken's already hot. So, um, We'll see if it gets hotter. All right, so, Bonchon chicken. If you've never had Bonchon, I'm, I'm giving a shout out to the Bonchon folks. Bonchon Korean chicken, double fried, it's awesome. Um, what, oops, sorry. One warning though, if you're gonna eat hot chicken or hot anything, and you're not, you don't have a high, hot, a high heat tolerance, always have a glass of milk or something like that, or, or something like cake or something you can eat with it to, to calm down the, the capsaicin, which is the active ingredient in the uh, hot sauce, because that is, uh, it's not water soluble, soluble, it's flat fat soluble. So that means that if you eat it with something fatty, it will uh, uh, take the burn away much faster. Anyway, Bonchon chicken, I should have eaten that earlier. And now we're gonna go with this sauce. It's supposed to be super hot. We're gonna find out. Let me, um, so we're opening this up. It's kind of a thick sauce. It smells good. It smells pretty good. Um, we're just gonna put some on here. Oh, I'm gonna put this down. I'm trying to move it without my phone falling over. There, there you go. Cause you don't need to see me. I don't know how I got this to work. I'm, oh, that's a lot of sauce. Anyway, so let's try this, right? Oh, that's hot. That's good. I mean, it's hot and it tastes good. That's the thing. So now you see what it looks like on the plate. It's kind of thick. We're gonna move this back. 
We're gonna look at my face and see if I react. Anyway, I just put some on there. It's a lot of hot sauce. All right, so. It's hot, but I definitely have hotter. Don't get me wrong. If I had that just sitting around in my house, and I gave it to some of my friends, they would be mad at me. But I love it. That bottle of sauce alone has paid for my subscription. Because, while well, I can eat it, it doesn't feel hot. My lips feel hot. And that's the sensation that you really want. Like, I feel it right here, right there. But I got more sauce. Now, mind you, I'll tell you you get hot sauce all the time. This bottle, which is $10, it's not gonna last me a week. But so far, I like this sauce. Oh. Let me stop you for a second. So, they give you a list of all the sauces and they go from lowest to highest. Like uh, Texas Pete and uh, Louisiana hot sauce is like 500 on the Scoville scale, so it's not hot at all. If you can't handle that, please do not get this sauce. So I'm at, those run a little bit. Um, I'm at 669,000. And so there's a few sauces hotter than this one. There's only one, two, three, five sauces hotter than the hot ones have. That's hotter than this. And this sauce is amazeballed. I love it. Am I sweating? I can't see. I don't think so. Now, my 15 year old, who also eats hot, I don't think he could eat this. I think, I mean, he could eat it, but he would be like, yo, dad, it's hot. I don't have many friends that can eat that hot sauce. Actually, I guess what I'm about to do. Round two, cause I love it. It just comes out so thick, that's the problem. That's the only problem I have with it because, let me close this first. Cause I feel like you use a lot of the sauce trying to shake it out. I love that. I may pay for it, but look at that. Mm. But it's not a tongue burn. It's a lip burn. And I think I think my tongue is used to it. I think my lips are not used to it. I mean the consistency of this sauce. It is all my lips. So I feel the heat like right here on the rim. Remember what I said though, fat soluble. If you start to feel hot, no sweatiness. Look. If you start to feel hot, you want to get, um, don't, don't, no, no water. You want to get milk. Uh, I'm not sure what you do with the outside of your lips though. Maybe butter or something. I don't know. Anyway, hot sauce. I remember 
The chicken's already hot. They got the bunch on hot. So I'll try to review hot sauce for you guys once a month. Um, these other ones I know for sure they're not hot because they're way down on the scale. I mean, like one of them is uh, 22,000, that's nothing. Now you put in like a milkshake, that's ridiculous. Anyway, I know it's starting to run. So I guess pepper has a cumulative effect, but instead I look like I'm sweating here, but I'm not. Anyway, it's your boy GB Reviews. Um, subscribe, like below. Please hit the notification bell. Let me know what you think. If you try this sauce, it's a karma sauce, burn after eating. I like it, I like it. The actual, the hot, the heat is good for sure, but I actually like the way that sauce tastes. They did a, a very good job of combining the sauce and the chilies and, and bringing out that kind of like um, the ginger and the vinegar. All my nose is definitely running all up. Anyway, uh, this is your boy GB Reviews. Burn after eating, thumbs up on this sauce. And I'm about to try to kill this box of chicken. Can't believe it's 6.30. All right, your boy GB Reviews, I'm out. Subscribe and like below. Subscribe, but like below.